This story ends almost exactly 54 years before it began. On July 15, 2010, I arrived at the Massachusetts Archives 15 minutes before 9 and joined a long queue already at the door. When we were allowed in, large signs on the cinder block walls of the gray lobby directed us. Births, deaths, marriages, pre-adoption birth records. That line was empty and I walked up. Bulletproof glass with a pass-through arch cut in the bottom separated me from a rather young clerk. He reminded me of Gandalf and handed me a short form. Fill this out, he said, and bring it back to me with your ID. Name, current address, date of birth, adopted parents' names, short form, quick answers. I walked back to the window, handed my form, my ID, and my ten dollars to the clerk. He looked everything over. Great, he smiled back at me. Looks good. I'll be right back. Ten minutes had been spent on that transaction. Five minutes later, I heard this very cheerful clerk call my name. Here you go, he said. Wow, that was fast, I answered. Yep, doesn't take long. Have a great day. My hands shaking, I opened the envelope flap, but the room was suddenly stifling. I walked out into the sunlit park and sat on a bench. My body trembling, my hands still shaking, I removed the form. My God, I thought, I've been curious about this all my life. The rest of this story tells what I found out that day and how my life was completely changed. Sometime during July of 1956, Alma and Jim came together one last time. Jim hadn't been around for a long time, but came home for some reason. Not long after, Alma discovered number five, me. I arrived nine months later in April of 1957. I was born where many babies arrived in Boston, at Boston City Hospital. It's where all the poor expectant moms in Boston delivered. At 8.50 a.m., I was whisked away from Alma, nothing but a figment of her maternal imagination. I'm still not certain why or how, but on Christmas Eve of 1957, Bill and Mill brought me home. I was eight months old, and now I had a mommy and a daddy and a nana. Mom always called me her little Christmas present the best one she's ever received. They're all gone now, Mom and Dad, Mama and Papa. I know why Mom and Dad received me, but I'll never really know why Mama and Papa gave me away.